Trigeminal neuralgia is a very serious condition. It's a pain disorder that affects the face. And most of the time, this is actually caused by a blood vessel that compresses against a cranial nerve that's called the trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve provides all the information that processes the touch information on our forehead, our eye, our cheeks, our mouth, back to the brain. Every case has a unique anatomy, but in many cases, the artery has a long loop, and that loop can sometimes get stuck right where the nerve comes out of the brainstem. And when that loop of the artery gets stuck there, it can wear down the lining on the nerve and then make that part of the nerve very raw. That injury to the nerve, that compression over time, is actually what causes the pain. One of the most important surgical treatments for trigeminal neuralgia is called a microvascular decompression. During this procedure, a small incision is made behind the ear, about two inches long. We then use a drill to actually drill out a piece of the bone about the size of a nickel. And through that hole, we actually use an operating microscope to see where the nerve is coming out of the brain stem and to dissect the artery off that nerve. Now, even though this is a kind of brain surgery, there is no cutting of any brain tissue itself. All we primarily do in the surgery is separate the artery from the nerve without trying to go through or injure any brain tissue. That procedure is about uh, 80 to 90 percent effective in stopping trigeminal neuralgia pain, and it usually happens immediately. Another important treatment for trigeminal neuralgia is called radiosurgery. Radiosurgery is a way of delivering very focused radiation just to the nerve itself. The goal is to block the transmission of that pain information in that nerve. It's an outpatient procedure where patients get to go home the same day of their treatment. At UCSF, we offer two types of radiosurgery. One is called gamma knife, and the other is called cyber knife. Both of these allow very targeted focus radiation to treat the trigeminal nerve. We offer both of these. However, over time, we found that the gamma knife has been a much more reliable treatment option. Patients have had much better pain control with much less side effects. So at this time, we prefer using gamma knife for treatment of trigeminal neuralgia. However, it's not typically as effective as the microvascular decompression. We typically estimate that about 60 to 70 percent of patients will become pain-free after this procedure. And the recurrence rate for trigeminal neuralgia is higher from gamma knife than it is for the microvascular decompression. About 50 percent of patients at five years will have recurrence of their facial pain. The third surgical treatment for trigeminal neuralgia is called radiofrequency lesioning. Radiofrequency lesioning is done by introducing a needle probe actually through uh, the cheek at the side of the mouth. We use x-rays during the surgery to guide that needle to the base of the skull. And the needle is very gently and delicately introduced through a hole at the bottom of the skull called the foramen ovale. The foramen ovale is a part of the skull where the trigeminal nerve has branches that exits the skull. And it's through that opening that we can actually introduce the nerve probe to uh, an important part of the trigeminal nerve called the trigeminal nerve ganglion. The radio frequency works by introducing heat and it heats up an injurious part of the nerve that helps desensitize the nerve and through that it actually interrupts the transmission of pain information from the face. One of the big differences between radio surgery and radio frequency lesioning is that the radio surgery is very non-invasive. It's actually not a surgical procedure. It's a radiation treatment. It has about 20 to 30 percent chance of having facial numbness, but it may take time for the benefit to actually kick in. On the other hand, the radio frequency effects typically control the pain right away, but in almost all cases it's associated with causing some facial numbness. Overall, all of these procedures are very effective at treating trigeminal neuralgia. In some cases, the pain can come back after several years.